We're gonna take these four pipes, bend them in a nice arch. In case you guys didn't really catch what we were doing, we are building a tarp, a shelter, a roof, a roof, because we're going to be working on the port lights to fix the leaks. Um, and since it's yeah, going to be perfect. probably raining every day, we need to make sure that everything stays dry. So, for less than 20 bucks, we're making ourselves a nice roof. <laughs> Sounds like we have a second plan. Take two. Well, we're taking apart these port lights again. Is in there. Hello. Hello, we did it. them in Wilmington, North Carolina about a year and a half, two years ago. And they've kind of leaked ever since, but we didn't really do a very good job. So we were taking them apart to reseal them. Um, give them kind of one more try before we try something else. And while I was pulling it apart, I cracked the glass. Oops. But the little groove that the glass went in is 5 16 of an inch wide. So we might be able to get like some quarter inch Lexan or something and replace it with that instead of glass so it'll be a little bit tougher and it'll also seal better. So we'll go to the, uh, the marina office tomorrow and ask if they can order some Lexan for us. Down here, Lexan isn't available, but the marina had some scraps of 8 mil acrylic that fit perfectly. So while they were fabricating our new port lights, we attacked a new project. The last time I sealed this V-Birth hatch was in Fairhaven, very soon after we bought our boat. So the silicon that I used was some sort of like automotive grade silicon that I got at a local hardware store. And it lasted uh, maybe a year and a half before it started leaking. And this hatch has sort of leaked in really heavy weather for the last, you know, maybe year. And now it's really started leaking like really bad. So it's time to uh, re-bed it and this time got a lot more boat repair knowledge so I'll be able to do a much better job but first I got to finish cleaning all the silicon out It uh, stays more watertight than it did last time. Part of the problem was that the corners are a bit cracked where these screws go through. So I added washers so that it's like pulling down on more of the acrylic and less of like sort of a pressure point. Uh, and hopefully that'll help keep it compressed. It doesn't look the prettiest, but. Today is my birthday! In case you guys are wondering, I am 28 today. Uh, yeah. Old. The only rule of today is that there is no boat work today because it's my birthday. So instead, we're going to a little waterfall in a hot springs 
Oh, and cool off because it is a very hot day. In a shot with Kika. <laughs> 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 Apparently, I'm too short to hold a camera on a selfie. <laughs> yeah, they get cut off. <laughs> I don't want to drink it all. You want some? I'm serious. <laughs> so we made it to Pinta Paraiso. The really cool thing about this place is that the waterfall itself is hot and then the water in the basin is cold. So that was fun. That was amazing. That was beautiful. But now we are waiting for the bus to return. Hello. 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 Okay, so because we are working on the torals today, the inside of the boat is a royal mess. We have the V-Birth matches drying out in here, and then we have everything from the galley out, and everything from the closet right here out. Uh, so yeah, and I'm trying to cook my good old breakfast. I'm not much of a cook, usually Din cooks, but you know, from time to time. It's not a bad idea to cook a little. See what I can do. Mm. Today we're tackling a very, very long overdue project. Ever since we've got this boat, the tow rail's leaked, but it's always been somewhat manageable. And this past couple of weeks, it's leaked a lot more than it has before. So it's finally time to pull the whole tow rail off and re-bed it properly. So hopefully it'll stop leaking for a couple more years. Um, if you don't know, this little piece of wood right here covers where the hull and the deck are joined together. And it has about 100 screws down each side. So if any water gets in, it's going into those screw holes and then down into our boat. And it's, uh, it's a pretty major source of leaking right now. I don't think this job's been done since the boat was made. I think this is the first time the tow rail's been off in 50 years. There's not a whole lot holding it on. Yeah, that one.
But look how naked our little boat looks. Oh my Don't gosh. <laughs> yeah, cool. Now we're able to work on the toriel and put the pulpit back. First, we have to grind in fiberglass. First, we have to grind in fiberglass and have a lot of work to do. There you go. You got it? Nice. No more wooden handrails. We're taking our handrails out because we're going to replace them with a stainless rail, kind of like what the fridge has right here. Because um, these things just, they're not really strong and they, can, they can snap off at any time and they leak, so... Thanks for watching and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and come back next week when we continue fixing all the leaks. Until then, cheers! Everybody gotta twerk, 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 twerk,